It, during the week what happened was I felt like getting a bottle of wine and some chocolate. So today I thought you need to go on a long rotted walk. tuning in again don't forget to like share and subscribe drop a comment below um, let me know how I'm doing let me know what you want to see from me today's video is gonna be a day in a life type video you're gonna see a little bit of what I'm doing or what little I'm doing and what I eat in a day on the Cambridge weight plan and hear about some of the things that I'm not meant to eat so I hope you like this video and thank you for watching again. to the second part of my day I've been walking for about let's see I don't know 25 minutes um, yeah just thought I'd get out of the house because I'm going a bit crazy see this beautiful picture I just met someone on my walk that was nice and refreshing that there's still people that are friendly in this world because um, there's been a lot of BS going on over the last year so now they made me walk through the mud though <laughs> then again they did say I could walk around but yeah so now I'm just gonna walk around Safnawood Lake. Just do a lap. No, I'm not running. I'm just going to do a lap of walking and then cut back round home. Oh my god, the mud. Oh, I wish I just walked around. Oh. guys it's been a bad week um, there's been some things that have been going on well, basically my grandma's in hospital and yeah it just kind of put a down on the week which made me go and eat some chocolate peanuts and a can of coke or pepsi max some sweets um, 
And some noodles. <laughs> I know, all random stuff. The noodles went with um, salmon that I'd cooked. And yeah, I think I explained that at the beginning of the video. It, I mean, my first video, one of my first videos that I'm an emotional eater. So in being a, an emotional eater, I eat when I'm happy, eat when I'm sad, eat through everything eat my feelings away um, I'm trying not to do that so today I got up started afresh and said you know what because I actually challenged myself on this during the week it during the week what happened was I felt like getting a bottle of wine and some chocolate which I think I said in my video and um, I didn't I didn't do it because I just felt like it's not gonna make my grandmother better it's not gonna make me feel better, or temporarily it will. So I didn't do it. But it's like this feeling was fighting me all week. And in the end, what happened? Saturday night, I ended up going to shop next door, getting some chocolate and not alcohol. I got some Pepsi Max. still all of that is not in my plan um so today i thought you need to go on a long rotted walk no i'm joking uh, am i allowed to say rotted on youtube anyway I said it now um yeah and that's what i've done literally gone up the hills and valleys and had a long walk now I'm approaching well I don't know where I'm approaching but I'm on route back home but yeah I'm gonna stop chat to you for a minute so yeah um, it wasn't a good thing that I did I kind of jeopardized my um, success or my success being sooner um, I've lost 15 pounds already. Why would I want to go and put it back on? Sorry guys. And um, yeah, it's just, this is just the reality of what weight loss looks like. I should have really just vlogged myself yamming that chocolate and the, and the, and drinking the drink, but I didn't. Probably show you the evidence in a bit later, but I mean, it is what it is really, it's done, it's dusted. So what I'm about to do is just, yeah, just start back afresh and, or should I say, continue the way that I'm meant to go and take it from there really. People are watching me now, gotta go. As I was saying, um, you just, you know, like when, Something bad happens, something good happens. We always seem to celebrate or commiserate with food. Food is always around. And I'm trying to break that cycle. I'm really trying. It's really tough, really, really tough. Plus, I'm getting bored with Cambridge products. Um, even though it works for me, I'm just, I want something different now. So I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about keto. But in saying that, I'm just not ready for that. Like, I'm not prepared. So I think what I'm gonna do this, this next month, I'm just gonna step it up a little bit, do try and do my Cambridge more to the T, because you know me, I have my lattes in the morning, I have my free products a day, and I haven't been doing my water properly. So I'm gonna try and be 100% on that and try and smash my results this month i'm gonna aim to walk twice a week and maybe when the gym's open i will increase maybe i'll go to the gym maybe just maybe i'm not making any pro promises people because boy this walking is a lot as it is but yeah back on the route home and yeah i'll show you the next part of my day so i'm back home now um 
yeah, it was a long walk. I was about out for about two hours and a half. I think my watch said something like 2.20, two hours, 20 minutes. So yeah, it was quite a long walk. I did, I should calculate the miles. I don't even know. I don't know if this watch does that, but yeah, we'll see. Um, I'll have a look later, but um, yeah, I feel so much better for it. Better than sitting in the house and thinking about what I'm gonna eat or think about not eating certain things that are going through my mind. Um, yeah, so it was nice to get out because I don't really do this by myself. Thing is as well, I'm trying to find a motivation to be active by myself, even if it is just a walk. Um, so I think today might be the start of something awesome, but we will see. So I'm just making a cup of tea, kettle's on at the moment, and I'm gonna have a Cambridge bar. And yeah. I mean, this week has been tough, guys. Like, this week has been tough. Like I said, my grand's in hospital, and she is one of the closest people to me. Like, my grandmother grew me. So, like, you can get the closeness of it. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit... And because of COVID, can't visit her. So, yeah, it's a bit sad. Um, but it's life, gotta get through it. Um, she will get better and be back home with us soon. So, but until then, I need to stay healthy. I need to do what's right and, you know, not be indulging in chocolate peanuts. <laughs> Guys, this is what I do to myself. I'm on a great streak. I'm into week five and I'm going to be doing all of this. This is end of week five. And I'm doing that stupidness. To be fair, actually, it was the first day of week six. So, yeah, I just need to stay more active. I feel like I'm going to eat. I need to get out there, go for a walk or something. Also, this month, a key goal of mine is to increase my water, which it's kind of weird because... Me and water, I'm quite fine with that. I usually drink loads of water, but I've been finding throughout lockdown it, that's not the case. So, um, just need to do better, really. So, guys, yep, here I am making a cup of tea. I drank some water just before to, just to make sure. Don't watch my crusty kettle. That's going soon. Getting a new one. Um... Yeah, and I'm having milk. I'm still having milk. I cannot have tea or coffee without milk. But I'm not going to have loads. I'm just going to have a dash. Today, I decreased my milk in my coffee. Because um, normally I just fill up the milk frother and basically have a latte. I've got salmon in the fridge, which I may do for dinner or I may just have for lunch tomorrow. I'll see how I feel. And with my cup of tea, I'm going to have a Cambridge bar. This. Apple and strawberry bar. And that's 205. 205 calories. Oh! Guys, I am absolutely... <sighs> tired as you can see I've been just chilling for a hot minute now I even forgot that I put the kettle on again and yeah I'm just ready to hit the sack so so tired that walk just took it out of me so I'm just gonna have a cup of tea and my last my final Cambridge product and I very much doubt that I'm going to have the the meal today because I'm just tired. Contrast from yesterday, eating down the place. But yeah, um, I'll show you my last Cambridge meal, which will be a Cambridge bar. 
and probably a cup of, cup of tea. And yeah, for now, I'm just going to stick the telly on. Um, and yeah, relax.